Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make air fried sweet potato fries. You could actually use any kind of potato you want for this. It doesn't have to be a sweet potato. It could be a russet, whatever you have. So I have a white sweet potato here that I'm just going to peel, and then I'm going to chop it into sweet potato fry shapes. And so I want them to be as uniform as possible, though it doesn't really make a difference. This recipe is very, very forgiving. So I'm just trying to make them as fry like as possible. So once I have my sweet potatoes all cut up there, I'm gonna spray them down with a little avocado oil. This is just a sprayer that I got from Amazon. I'll link it below. I'm just gonna spray the top of the sweet potato fries here. Now the air fryer that I have is actually an attachment for my six quart instant pot. So it comes with a basket with a little lift in there that goes inside the instant pot liner. And the instant pot I have is a six quart. And then it also has an air fryer lid. So all the controls are on this Instant Pot air fryer lid. That's what you actually plug in rather than the base. And it works really, really well as an air fryer, but it does a whole bunch of things like dehydrating and broiling and all sorts. So I'm just going to put the sweet potato fries into the basket that I have inside the liner there of my Instant Pot. And I'm going to spray it down with a little avocado oil. I had to refill it. <laughs> I'm going to spray it down a little bit, um, just the top there. And I'm going to put the lid on and air fry it for 10 minutes at 380 degrees. See how it plugs in there and just fits right on top? It works so well. So then once the time is up, I'm going to take off the lid and I'm going to give the sweet potato potatoes a little bit of a stir and spray them down with one more douse of avocado oil just to keep, you know, prevent them from drying out. I find that if they don't have enough oil on them, and it doesn't need a lot, but as long as it has a little bit, it'll keep them from drying out. So I'm going to put the lid back on and do five more minutes at 380 degrees. And that is that, my friends. This makes such a easy, yummy side dish. If you're going to make hamburgers or whatever, they're super delicious and such an easy way to make french fries. So there you go. Hope you try them. If you do, leave a comment below and let me know how they turn out for you. We'll see you all in the next video. Ciao.